Spooky people. And those of you who like to swing for game. Welcome back to another deck profile by Timmy Timmy motherfucking, motherfucking Scott. Scott. This guy, again. Always here. You know, always on the heroes. But check it out. Y'all finally get to see the play mat that Cooper was talking about. So, yes, I did get the Team Samurai X1 red and black play mat. My yeah. favorite. Favorite, favorite play mat, my favorite colors, you know, if y'all see my tattoo, those are red and black, but yeah, red and black, my favorite color, you know, match the deck box now, and that's the flame we inside. And then the you got Neo side. The hero but that helps you bust up for game. Not, not in this deck list. Not in this one. <laughs> not in this deck no, list. Y'all about to find out. So basically kind of like the idea behind this deck was I didn't want to draw a dead card as my six card. So my hand trap my hand trap lineup was pretty simple. I hope y'all like my Jaden sleeves. Shout out to Die, Pay to Win Win for hooking me up with these bad boys right here Justice. and you know shout out to cooper big hero six for hooking me up with this play mat because he did not want to come off of it but he finally did and i will always be greatly appreciative for him because i've been looking for a year for this play mat and i have not even seen you can't even find pictures of this play mat it's crazy that's but sick. yeah it is sick. that's the play mat right there these are the sleeves so these are my hand traps right here Ghost, three Ghost Ogre, three Imperms. Y'all know this card is like MVP in against um, adventure stuff. You know, hitting the Wandering Griffin Rider, hitting Faithful, hitting <laughs> Cherubini, just hitting Cross Crusader. He's like hitting everything. And then, you know, Imperm. This has been along for a while. So basically, like I said, the idea was I didn't want the six card that I draw to be dead. And like even against the adventure prank kids and stuff, if like I draw like an Imperm and I'm trying to Imperm something like DPE or Battle Butter, they go one. Wondering Griffin Rider, I can still change Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, destroy the Wondering Griffin Rider, and get my Impermo. So that was kind of like the idea behind the deck. So those are my only hand traps. Hand traps that I draw that are still good. You know, I use it against the map or Flunderies. I hit Schisms with it. I hit, um, what's the other card? I've hit Choochie with it. You know, I actually did hit a Battle Butter with it because he had already used the. Uh, he used a mouth thing to protect it and ghost ogre and got that out of there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, over and all, like going second is really hard this format. So many, there's so many different things you have to play against. It's like, not only do you have to draw a board breaking card, but you also have to draw like enough of your engine to be able to win. And it just gets really tough sometimes. And I don't know, I like the deck. It was a lot of fun playing it differently and stuff, you know, as y'all about to see. I did make a lot of cuts to it to try to make it as streamlined as possible. So, since we have two of Hero Lives now, I play two Stratos. I know y'all are going to laugh at my rarities, but, you know, everybody knows why my rarities like this is in the area. is because I lost to a field barrier inside of a uh, Mystic Mind deck, and now I just don't care anymore. I just don't. It doesn't matter. I lost to a Feel barrier, y'all. Okay. Punish Tim from Scott. But it's, uh, yeah, this is my elemental hero lineup. As you can see, there is no elemental harness Neos. Oh, uh, okay. and a lot of my things. And a lot of my going to my OTK and stuff, I found out that I just really didn't need Honest Neos. I didn't. I was killing my opponents in four summons, playing up under Nib, and I didn't need Honest Neos to kill them. So I cut it just because there were a lot of times I was drawing it and it was just a dead card in my hand. It was just there and it was just messing me up. And so I just cut it out. So these are my only elemental heroes. I didn't play three Stratos. I didn't really feel like I needed them, but, you know, it was kind of different. So, yeah, three Stratos, two Shadow Mists one liquid soldier and actually like i wish we could cut this card too because there are a lot of times where i draw it in my hand and it's like man i just can't do anything with this card just in my hand but it's like you need ab zero and you like his draw effect it's like ah i can't cut that but yo my e heroes my vision heroes uh two fairies one increase Three Vions. It's because y'all know how I feel about Vion. I feel like he's the best normal summon. Then my one increase, two Ferris. I'm only playing two Ferris because it is a going second OTK deck. I'm not trying to grind out games with my opponent. And if I am grinding out, I'm probably just relying on DPE to get things done. And I'm not trying to resolve Ferris's effect multiple times. You know, I'm just, you know, Vion just by itself is good enough with increasing my spell and trap cards on. I never had any problems with this engine really. Like the, I guess probably like the only thing is like when you play against people who really know what they're doing against heroes, you know, they know when to hand trap you. 
And I said on my vlog the other day, I really miss cross out designator. Like, because it put in so much work for me when people would like, um, imperm, you know, imperm my increase or my volume and stuff, you know, if I had the cross out designator, I was still going in. And the game that I just lost, uh, lost in going, trying to make it into top cut, I lost because I didn't have cross out designator. And he basically just, um, he negated my increased effect of some of my Vion. And after that, I had already summoned Stratos. I went Stratos to get Ferris, Ferris discard to special, and you know, special activate increased effect special, and he gets hand trapped, and there was nothing I could do. You know, it's just, I didn't draw the Fusion Destiny. I didn't hard draw Poly or Miracle, anything like that. It's just, heroes, we just don't have too, enough extenders, man. We just don't, so. That's it for the Vision Hero package, my Destiny Hero package. I know y'all are going to ask questions about this one because it is a little bit different. So the reason why there are two deniers off the inside of here, because there are a couple of times where like when I don't draw Fusion Destiny, but I still want to be able to bring out um, DPE. And there was no other Destiny Hero monster that I felt like I could put off in there that would help me try to get to my OTKs because the Siders effect happens on the end phase. Celestial's effect is like next turn. Draw hands effect is like next turn, but I'm not trying to give my opponent the next turn. I'm trying to kill them right now. Like I'm just trying to end the game, put an end to it. I'm trying to break the board and kill them. So I put two deniers off in there to kind of increase my chance of drawing it so that I wouldn't have to search it a lot of times off of Shadow Mist. And that's it. Now this one right here, at first, this was cut from my deck, like because it was the same problem that I was having with Element, Elemental Hero Honest, Honest Neos. I was drawing it too much, and I lost two games today because I decided to put this back in because of Scythe and D Barrier, and I drew this and those two hands, and I ended up losing those games. So it's like, it just sucks we have to play so many bricks, man, but it's like a necessary evil. But yeah, like this card lost me two games today, but it's kind of like you got to have it, man, because if you get Scythe or D buried, at least you still have a card you can rely on. It just sucks hard drawing it all the time when you'd rather be searching it to bring it out. All right, so that's my D hero package. And then my one evil hero, evil hero, adjusted goal, like, ain't gonna lie, this guard, this card and Dark Colin was very underwhelming. Like, it just. Like, I guess, like, in my area, the players, like, I'm not going to say they're better than a lot of players in the other areas, but they know how to deal with things. And, like, just bringing out Malicious Bane and stuff, it just wasn't enough. You know, people know how to out it. They have the cards to out it. They chalice it, imperm it, um, unicorn. They got a million different things done to it, and it was just, it just didn't do too much at all. I thought it would be better against prank kids, but when they have Weather Washer and Bow Wow effect, it's like, yeah, it just didn't do anything. And so that's my monster lineup, my hand trap lineup, my spells. Of course, my other board breakers, three droplet. This card was amazing. Every time you draw it, it was just amazing in every way. Super poly was pretty underwhelming. There were very few times where I could super poly both of my opponent's monsters in order to do it. And it's just like whenever I played against PK, I just never drew it. So it just never really came up. So most of the time I was using one of my monsters and one of my opponent's monsters in order to do it. And uh, it was different. But I don't know. Kind of in some of the situations, I wish it had just been Chalice. But yeah, like against Flow Under Ease and stuff like that, the card was just like nothing. It was just nothing. Then, of course, three mass change, the two fusion destinies, two lightning storms because I am playing going second. Of course to a hero lives i play two emergency calls that way like if there was a time where i needed to search for liquid soldier or shadow mist to go with my own um, to go with my fairs you know i kind of had the search ability to go into that and then of course the one of the rota a call by poly miracle fusion and dark calling you know all those one of this card right here is another one of those necessary evils but i felt like maybe going second maybe i should have took it out I don't know. It was kind of underwhelming. But then they're also like going second. You also have to worry about cards like Scythe and DPE and stuff too. So I left it in, but it was pretty, I don't know. It just did never really seem like it helped me too much. So that's it for my spells and for my main deck. As I said, I played the, the three hand traps right here or the six hand traps. So I had three, six, nine. 12 going second cards and the uh, deck is what 45 cards to try to avoid drawing a lot of those cards that were just one ofs and stuff and it still happened quite a bit oh and then i had the two lightning storms also but yeah i feel like going second was 
it was it was a fun try, but like too many boards are just kind of hard to break, and they just generate so much advantage that they can keep you from OTKing them even if you do break their board, and then they still have follow up because the boards are just just amazing. And for my extra deck, my E Heroes, the Shining, probably my favorite one, Escarito, Sunrise, Ab Zero, you know, basically standard ones we go through. I did want to add um, Great Tornado. But I just kind of didn't have room for it. And I felt like when I was playing against Flow Underies and stuff anyway, I was siding out Super Poly. Just because, like I said, I really don't like having a Super Poly when I have to use one of my own monsters and discard a card. It just makes me feel like I'm losing at that point. So those are my E-Heroes, my Mass Heroes, Blast, Dark Law, Acid. I know there's only one Dark Law off in there. Like I said, I'm going second, so I'm not double Dark Law on anybody. If I pull out Dark Law, you know, it's like I broke their board and now maybe Dark Law can keep them from um, playing a game. But yeah, all these, y'all know what these do. They were decent. They did their job. Uh, my Destiny Heroes, no dangerous because I'm not going first, so there's no first turn, you know, Dark Law player, anything like that. This card did win me a lot of games in time, so it's really hard to just cut this out, even though, like I said, I'm not playing Dynatag and stuff because I got tired of bricking that card. So, But I feel like you need it for that time burn. You know, you just got to try to go for it. And DPE, y'all know, he carries everything. Then Evil Hero, Malicious Bane, this card, like I said, it was very underwhelming. There was just... People have outs to it. They just do. And, yeah. Against the deck that I thought it would be really good against was Prank Kids because, you know, the Battle Butler, hey, he can't destroy, but then Bow Wow happens and you can't destroy their monsters by his card effect either. So it's just like, man, the next turn that Unicorn is going to do something to it. And it's just, ah, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. My Link Monsters. Verte, Wonder Driver, One Cross Crusader. One Cross Crusader, because like I said, I'm going second. I'm just trying to kill my opponent. I'm not trying to grind it out with him. And if it does end up being a grind match, then I'm just basically kind of relying on DPE and my hand traps, whatever spells and stuff I have to do it. And there were games that happened like that, and I ended up winning them. Like, I guess overall with the deck, I went um, over the course of the the weeks and stuff that I played it. It was like 16 wins, four losses, and two draws. So I feel like the deck did pretty good. <clears throat> My super poly targets, this thing came in quite a bit. This one, not so much. Not as much as I thought it would. It was like really good against Invoke Shadow All Dogmatica though. Like this card, this one put in work against that deck. This one was better against like VW. And yeah, pretty much against VW, this card kind of did better. So that is pretty much my extra deck, my side deck, three Lancias, of course, y'all know it hits everything, two Nibiru's for those decks that summon way too many times, token collectors for sword soul and adventure things, two drolls for flow under reasonies, uh, three twin twisters for Elledge, prank kids, you know, all those different decks. Two evenly matches and one red reboot. This card like won me a lot of games too. This card is amazing. But I really did want to have like three evenlies off in there. Like one thing when I switch back to my going first deck is like probably these will be main decked off inside of there, trying to like switch things up a little bit. But I say the main thing is is like going second is not it's not all that not all that easy, this format. You never know what your opponent is going to do, what they're trying to set up, and there are so many different crazy things. My round one went against um, Fluffles, and he summoned he summoned Dagda on, at the end of his turn. And I was like, that was weird. I thought maybe he had bricked or something, and I didn't know that Fluffles have cards that let them poly from their hand, and he activated it and he triggered Dagda and set the scythe and then brought out the whale or something like that and when the whale gets summoned it pops too and I was like yeah yeah that, like, this, these decks they just do crazy things and you don't know what in the world is going on and like the thing about going second is like not only do you have to draw your engine but you also have to draw out to your opponent's board and it just wasn't happening like all the time but overall i went what 16 4 2 like the main two losses were tonight you know i lost to dragon maids and i lost in time to prank kids because i got burned by the little fire one mm. but overall the deck was pretty fun i liked playing it it's just 
so many games with the time because, you know, game one, you're letting your opponent just sit there and go and play. And sometimes it takes like 20, 30 minutes for them to build their board. And then you break it in like five minutes. But by then, what, y'all 25 minutes into the round? And, yeah, I had a lot of games go to time. So I think going second, going second is cool. But I think that going first might actually be a little bit better. It just might be. Especially because of prank kids around, Dark Law seems like pretty important to get out against most boards this format. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know, I know y'all are going to hit me up with comments and all kinds of questions and talk about my ratios. But, you know, I feel like the ratios were good for what I was trying to accomplish. I kind of accomplished it a little bit, but, you know, now I'm going to have a little bit of fun. Dynamic Duo Deck. Coming pretty soon. We trying to baguska dark law some people and see if we can get it to work in the TCG just as good as it did in Master Duel. But I know E Man was asking about that to see that. So we're gonna try to get that done and see if we can do it. But appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit me up. Shout out to, you know, Die, Pay to Win Win, Cooper, Big Hero Six Pro hooking me up with this stuff. Six, My six, boy. Six, six. Ed Man, Ed E Man Robinson, you know the justice on there. Yeah, with the Jaden. And it actually doesn't look too bad with the playmat. So, you know, it's popping. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my boy, Edman, E-Man e Robinson. It's yeah. like my brother over there behind the cam, you know. Shout out to Limitless Games, my sponsor, Jason Holloway. And, you know, just everybody who's helping me learn and keep up with a lot of things and rulings and stuff. Because, like I said, I've been back in the game for, I think, this month. This month actually makes a year that I've returned to competitive pay. And it's actually, you know, it's been a lot of fun, you know, coming back into the game. I've got to win. I've got the top. You know, I've got a couple of trophies. I've won, you know, a couple of play mats. And, you know, I'm just – I was just hoping to get a get a good um, YCS – top off inside of there somewhere but you know we're gonna play for real when that comes around so hello no yo anything e-man you want to add anything to it nah no so we're gonna play some dc deck builder about to be some hands <laughs> in the dc deck builder. let's go get them stay a while and listen